Hi, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to review the useful and very affordable keyword research tool called Keywords Everywhere. So if you're a beginner who's still on the fence about spending money on SEO tools, you will find out that for just $10, you can do quite a lot of good research with this tool. So let's get started. I'm Tyler Stokes, and in this video, I'm going to activate my Keywords Everywhere account and show you exactly how it works. We're going to check out some keywords in a specific niche and see the tool in action. Now, in a previous video, I gave a quick tutorial on the Google Keyword Planner, which is a keyword tool that is 100% free. However, after comparing Google's free tool to Keywords Everywhere, you will notice that for just 10 bucks, you get a lot more useful data in my opinion. So I'll jump over to my computer right now and show you how this tool works. Okay, so I'm on my computer here and I'm going to give a really quick overview of keywords everywhere. We're gonna set it up and we're going to uh, show it in action for a particular niche. So I'm on Google right now and I've plugged in the keyword best fishing kayak. So in some previous videos, we were analyzing some other keyword research tools, some free tools and some other premium tools. We sort of chose this niche kayaking and I actually found it in my list of the 287 most profitable niches for affiliate marketing. If you want this PDF, uh, you can grab it uh, below this video. I'll include a link for this free resource. Uh, basically, it has a whole bunch of niches in health, relationships, wealth, hobbies and interests, personal development. So we scrolled down and we just sort of randomly chose um, a niche in the hobbies and interests category. We came down here and we chose kayaking uh, and then we analyzed the keyword research tools uh, for that niche. So we're gonna do that as well. And what you can see here, I'm on Google and I've plugged in you know, a term, the best fishing kayak, and you can see what the results look like we're going to install this keywords everywhere extension and we're going to show you you know how this page changes once you have uh, this tool up and running so what you'll want to do is go to keywordseverywhere.com and basically your first step is to install an extension so this keyword tool works by having an extension installed on your browser so you need either chrome or firefox and then when you do searches on google it will pull all the data for the various uh, keywords that you're plugging uh, into google now i would advise you to just to come to the website and if you go start here uh, they give you a really good rundown on everything so i'm not going to cover every single point about this tool uh, certainly this website gives a great overview of how the tool works uh, every sim single sort of setting uh, that you can use, how much um, the pricing is for um, a user. So typically, you know, most users, it's gonna be $10 a year. After $10, your credits expire, and I'll show you sort of what credits mean. Uh, but that's really what most people are gonna pay, 10 bucks a year, so it's really, really uh, affordable. And that explains everything about payment and how to set it up, and they actually have some really good uh, YouTube videos on the setup process here if you think that my setup process is a little too quick. So if you want uh, a better rundown on everything about this tool, just come to their website. Uh, they do a great job. So the first thing you want to do, like I said, is install for your browser. So I'm on Chrome here, so I'm going to hit install for Chrome. It's going to take me to the Chrome web store. And I'm going to add to Chrome. So I'm adding this keywords everywhere uh, keyword tool as an extension in my browser. So I'm going to click that. Yes, add the tool, add the extension. And it says Keywords Everywhere tool has been added to Chrome. So you'll notice that I need to click on this icon here. And then what I'll do is I'll pin Keywords Everywhere uh, to my browser. So right now uh, I have it there and I can hit on. So it's on and Basically, we can jump back over to Google and I'll refresh and we can see some data up on the screen. So right away, we can see here some trend data for best fishing kayak. And you can see over the last 10 plus years, um, the trend has been going upwards. Uh, we can scroll down here. It's going to give me some related keywords to best fishing kayak. So best fishing kayaks Canada. So I'm located in Canada. So it's it supplies me that one. Um, you know, best fishing kayak under $500. So a lot of people search best fishing kayak, but a related keyword might be, you know, best fishing kayak and then 
involved with prices under 500 under 1500 dollars people also search for so people who search for that they also search for other things um you know best fishing kayak with trolling motor that might be a popular one and then long tail keywords so these are keywords that have you know, not as much search volume and probably much less competition as well. So best tandem fishing kayak, best budget fishing kayak and so on. So here you can see that by just plugging in best fishing kayak into Google, uh, we get some really good data and you can export all of this. Now, <clears throat> what this data doesn't show is the actual, you know, keyword search volume. So, you know, you don't really know how many times uh, this gets searched on Google every month. Best fishing kayak under a thousand dollars. If it's only searched, you know, five or six times, or you know, under ten, you you might not want to, you know, use that in your business. But you know, if it's searched maybe a few hundred times, maybe that can be a good keyword. So basically, what that means is you want to use uh, credits. So if you click on load credits, uh, you'll notice that it comes and it asks you to buy some credits. And basically, like I mentioned, you'll probably just want to spend ten dollars. You'll get a hundred thousand credits for ten dollars and that will last you one year and if we scroll back over here you know to load all the credits here uh, excuse me to load all the metrics it's only going to cost you eight credits so you can see that your hundred thousand credits is going to last you that's all you're going to need so in order to buy them uh, you need to set up an api uh, key so basically what you'll want to do is after you install uh, the chrome like i did you'll want to come here as your next step and hit get api key you can plug in your email and they will email you the api key so i'm going to jump over to my email now and grab the api key uh, that they emailed me so here i'm on my email uh, from keywords everywhere i'm going to just hit please click here to access your api key and then i'm going to copy that api key i'm going to go back to my chrome browser and I'm going to validate this API key. So now I'm back on my Chrome browser and I can go back here and I can go to the actual keyword tool extension. I can go to settings <clears throat> and here you only need to enter an API key if you want to access our paid features. So again, we want to do that. So here I'm going to paste in that API key, hit validate. And now the API key is valid. And now I'm up and running using uh, my uh, credits that I have purchased already. So I'm gonna come back here and we can do another refresh. And now we're going to see uh, the tool in action uh, with much more uh, information. So right away, best fishing kayak. Now we have a search volume. So it's telling me that that's searched you know, over 12,000 times a month. So that's a really good keyword. You know, if you rank number one for that or you ranked on the first page for that, you're certainly going to make some good money from that. It also gives you a cost per click. So this is what advertisers are paying uh, for per click for that term through Google AdSense. And then it shows you some competition metrics and then a trend um, graph. So showing that, you know, in the summer months, uh, it's more popular and as it goes down to the winter months, you know, that search term is not as um, search. So it's certainly a seasonal type of search term. And now if we look down at those uh, metrics that we con that we looked at before, related keywords, we got best fishing kayaks under $1,000. So it actually shows me that search 1,600 times a month. So that might be a really good keyword uh, to target on your website. And again, you know, some other long tail keywords here, best fishing kayak accessories, you know, it's searched almost 600 times a month. That might be a long tail keyword. There might not be a lot of competition uh, regarding that keyword. You might be able to, you know, list all the accessories that you would want to bring with a fishing kayak and you can rank for that website and you can convert those through affiliate sales and so on. So that's basically, you know, this tool in action and you can export all of these um, different uh, uh, data groups uh, into an Excel spreadsheet and sort of organize them and build your website around these keywords. So basically that's how it works. You can plug in keywords. It's going to give you some information right away and you can do all of this within your browser. Now there are some other options and I'm just going to go through um, and tell you about them very quickly. When you're on a page like this, if you actually open up this first results in a new tab, uh, we can come here and you can obviously know that 
you know, if someone's ranking number one for this term, they're probably doing well, they're probably making um, some good money from their website. You can come to the extension and you can actually do some searches on this particular URL. So you can do organic rankings URL and Keywords Everywhere is going to give you some data regarding that. You can actually go to analyze the page. So if you click that, you'll see that uh, Keywords Everywhere is going to actually go in and analyze uh, this particular page. So the keyword density analysis for that URL that we were on, it shows you that there's around 5,000 words. And if you scroll down, you know, it's going to give you some, you know, information that you might find useful. Fishing kayak, uh, it's mentioned 25 times. So if you're interested in sort of doing some analysis on the actual page, then uh, Keywords Everywhere gives you those those options as well. And what you can do is just kind of scroll through these and see if you find any of these particular um, extra settings useful for something you're doing. Um, you can do a bulk keywords data. I'll just show you this one more bulk keywords data tool. So you know, if you pulled some keywords from somewhere else, maybe you're just doing some a manual research and you wanted to kind of search them so you know maybe it was you found out inflatable kayaks was popular and maybe uh, best tandem kayak and then you hit get metrics uh, it's going to give you you know the metrics for these particular keywords right away so you can sort of manually post these in and get some uh, data there so inflatable kayaks you know, it's saying it's searched uh, globally 200,000 times a month. So that's another big one. So maybe, you know, you were doing fishing kayaks, you certainly might want to incorporate inflatable kayaks to uh, your business as well, uh, considering the information here, it's searched quite a bit. So that's really how uh, this tool works. And bottom line, it's, you know, a great tool to give you some insights, right, sort of, you know, on the fly as you're sort of, you know, in Google, you're in the browser, you're on Google and you're searching and it could spit some information uh, at you regarding these keywords. And you can also also export them and kind of kind of go through them uh, and, and look at them in more detail in some sort of spreadsheet as well. So uh, it's a really useful tool um, and it's really affordable as well. You can see that for 10 bucks, you can do a whole bunch of searches uh, and you can dive into this tool. And that $10 is probably going to last you um, a year, you probably won't have to, um, you know, buy more credits, you got 100,000 credits. And what we did today was maybe, you know, uh, 30 credits. So uh, you can really get a lot of use um, out of this keyword, it's affordable, uh, it's very easy to use and easy to set up. So I hope that you found this quick overview useful. In my opinion, it's worth spending a little bit of money and seeing if you like working with this tool. I think it's a great tool for people who don't want to spend much money on SEO tools for various reasons. And in my opinion, uh, it's much more useful than many free tools that are out there. It's also great if you enjoy being able to research keywords directly on the Google search results. Now, I personally don't enjoy the tool for that reason, but you know, that's just me. It's sort of something that you need to try yourself. And at the time of recording this video, I use the SEO tool from Ahrefs. And you know, I would recommend that you check out my full review on that, which I will include in the description of this video. Uh, it's much more expensive, but you do get, you know, a lot more than just a keyword research tool. Again, I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because I am going to be releasing more videos like this in the future. Also, if you're interested in researching keywords for an affiliate marketing business, then you should go and download my five step blueprint, which explains exactly how I make a full time income from researching keywords for my affiliate marketing website. So I'll post a link to this uh, free resource below and you know, I'll put some related videos up on the screen right now if you're interested in checking those out. So take care and I'll see you in the next one.